that there was not that much artificial material. We don't have many grocery stores like you have here. We depend on what our land produces, how much cattle we we'll get from our own. Pachamama means Earth Mother uh, in Quechua, and uh, so that has been one of the underlying themes for the Folklife Festival this year that reinforces why we should try to be as sustainable as possible in how we carry out the festival. We keep using the same water for two reasons. One, to reuse the dye material, or to use the water. Until the last, you can keep doing for dyes. The environmental problems and challenges we face today are really cumulative by these small actions and small products and small things adding up. And so what we've tried to do with sustainability at the Folklife Festival is to try to uh, influence the vendors so we didn't have styrofoam. So we tried to put in the contracts for the vendors that they were to use compostable products. But overall, then, we end up diverting uh, over 90%. And that's almost unheard of for public events anywhere that's close to zero waste. Okay, the chicken, no. Yes. We chicken go in compost? We do industrial, but not the plastic. That's made out of corn. These are too. So all this can go in there. Everything's going to Wow. That's amazing. We do industrial. Who would have thought that trash would have inspired an educational exchange and increase in diffusion of knowledge that the Smithsonian does about that subject. You know, the plastic was a big problem in our country. You know, everybody sells in the plastic bags and, and the fiestas come and they use plastic plates and dishes and like that. And that's actually really bad for our environment. Such important because they are our culture depends from that. How healthy we keep the mother earth and how healthy we get from that our food. Come on, let's meet them. Come on, let's meet them. To have something disposable in the first place, this is recent. More responsible uh, handling of our waste in the U.S. is increasing. In other countries, there's no recycling systems. There's no problems. They have no place to take it to. These countries are struggling to catch up with the American uh, habits of exporting this disposable culture. Bottled water, disposable, everything is now the American way. food now comes from around the planet. Every corner of the world generates stuff that shows up on our shelves. People then can lose touch with the reality of all the people and all the places and all the materials and resources that went into getting that to us and making it convenient for us. It's not just our neighborhood or our apartment building or our city that uh, we touch. Everything we do and how we consume and how we spend our money is, is impacting these far corners of the world and can be harming those uh, places or those people in those places. So it's important for us to recognize that uh, we are a global community now. 